Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on setting up Google Social Login for your BuddyBoss web and app. We'll show you how to streamline the login process for your members and ensure a seamless user experience. Let's get started. First, let's enable the Social Login feature. Go to BuddyBoss, Settings, General, Registration, and enable the checkbox for Social Login. Once enabled, you'll see options to configure Google Social Login. Keep this tab open as we'll need to copy and paste some information later. On another tab, go to Google Cloud Console at console.cloud.google.com and log in using your Google credentials. Make sure that the correct project is selected here at the top. If you don't have a project yet, click Create Project and name it. From the left navigation menu, hover to APIs and Services, then click on OAuth Consent Screen. Navigate to the Clients tab. Click Create Client. Choose Web Application as the application type. Enter a name. Then add your authorized redirect URI. If you're unsure about your site's redirect URL, you can find it in the Google pop-up we viewed earlier. Look for the line labeled Redirect URL. Once done, click Create. Copy the client ID and client secret as we will need it later. At this point, your app is in testing mode, so only a limited number of people can use it. To configure this, go to the Audience tab and click Publish App under Publishing Status. Click Confirm. Return to your WordPress admin dashboard and paste the client ID and client secret we copied earlier into the corresponding fields under the web section. Then. Click Save Changes to enable Google Social Login on your website only. If you're also using the BuddyBoss app and want to enable Google Social Login for it, we'll need to set it up separately for both Android and iOS. Let's walk through that now. Still on the Clients tab, click Create Client. Select Android as the application type. Enter a name for this client ID. For the package name, enter your release app ID, which you can get from BuddyBoss app configure Android settings page. Next, you will need your SHA1 certificate fingerprint. To get this certificate, navigate to BuddyBoss, build page. Click on the drop down next to your latest release build and click download SHA1 fingerprint certificate. Enter it here, then click create. Copy the client ID and paste it into the client ID field for Android app in BuddyBoss. For the test build client ID, use the same process as you did for the first client ID, but make sure to use the test application ID and test build SHA1 certificate fingerprint values. Next, let's move on to iOS app. Click the Create Client button. This time, select iOS as the application type. Enter a name for this client ID. For the bundle ID, enter your release app ID, which you can get from BuddyBoss app, configure iOS settings page. Next, you will need your App Store ID and Team ID. To get these, log in to App Store Connect. Click your app from the list. Navigate to App Information under General and copy your Apple ID. For your Team ID, log in to your Apple Developer account. Scroll to the Membership Details section. Copy your Team ID. Paste them here, then click Create. Copy the client ID and paste it into the client ID field for iOS app in BuddyBoss. For the test build client ID, use the same process using the same Apple ID and Team ID, but make sure to use the test app bundle ID. Once everything is filled out, click Save Changes. In the pop-up, sign into your Google account to verify the settings. You can now enable Google Social Login and click Save Settings. If the Google Social Login checkbox remains greyed out, click the pencil icon and select Verify Settings again. For the BuddyBoss app customers, navigate to BuddyBoss app, Build. Request a new build to ensure that all recent changes are fully implemented and reflected in your app. And that's it. You've successfully set up Google Social Login for your BuddyBoss web and app. Test the login functionality to ensure everything is working smoothly. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more BuddyBoss tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you in the next video.